Ace Ethan, we're hanging out on Radio Row at Rocklahoma with Chris from Blackstone Cherry. How you doing? Doing all right, man. Waking up, getting my day started. How y'all doing? Dude, dude, I've been awake for a little while. Well, You've been in I... here setting up, all that stuff. You just roll off the bus? Yeah. I've been kind of like awake for a while, but not like awake for a while. If not awake, sense. awake. Yeah, for sure. I haven't been in sure. the sunlight much, if that makes sense. Right, I've for been, sure. You know, in the back of the bus, just kind of playing video games, trying to get my brain rolling. We got to play in a little bit, and I don't even know where I'm at. It's good. Rock Home is going to be awesome. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, hey, dude, the new record, uh, Screaming at the Sky, it comes out September 29th. Yes, I had a chance to give it a listen the other day. Dude. Come on. Man. I appreciate it. It's killer, it. brother. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Sir. It's awesome. Now, something that I'm really interested in is the way you guys recorded it, because mm -hmm. you recorded it in an old theater, Yeah. and I have a bit of a thing for old theaters and like marquees and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. They just look badass. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. So it's a theater that we do some charity shows back home every couple of years at, and it seats about 1,200 people. Okay. Um, and we always love the way the drums sound on the stage. They just sound like cannons, man, you know? And when we were thinking about recording the new record, we were trying to decide where to do it. And we had either recorded drums or worked at individually or together at all the studios in the area, pretty much. And we knew what they sounded like, but we wanted a different kind of approach this time, just to do something different, really. We, 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 we like to just experiment with sounds. And we thought about, what about the Plaza Theater in Glasgow? So we went in, set the drums up, made a makeshift control room downstairs, and tracked all the drums and guitars for the record there at the Plaza, man. It was, it was a lot of fun. It was kind of like taking a shot in the dark that the light bulb came on right at the right time, you know? Right. How long did that take? Like, how long did you guys have to rent the place out for, that kind of thing? I think it was a total of, we did it in two sessions, uh, 10 days the first time. And, of course, the first four days were, like, setting up and getting all the sounds dialed in and stuff like that. But as far as tracking, I think it was about eight or nine days worth of tracking that we did there. Right. One of my favorite songs on the new record is Smile World. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's kind of cool because we're in a genre where there's a lot of negativity. You know, uh -huh. everybody kind of expresses their negative thoughts and yeah. is the outlet, right? But this is like a super positive yeah. kind of song. And I thought that was different. Where did that come from? At the, that was inspired by me being a smart ass to John Fred one day. <laughs> I woke up, I was in an ill mood, and I was just giving John Fred hell right off the bat. And he goes, well, damn, Chris, what do you do? Just wake up and say, smile, world? And, and somebody later goes, that would be a great song title. And we ended up just turning it into the song, you know. And Ben had the original idea for the, for the first verse and got it kind of flowing, and we were just off to the races from there. But we wanted to add something like that in the record to help balance out exactly what you were talking about. You know, this record's a very heavy record musically yep. but also lyrically it, it, it talks about a lot of stuff that, that are deep issues so it was nice to have that up in there to kind of break it up a little bit something else that you did with the song was you kind of invited fans mm -hmm. to take part of that music video um where did that idea come from and why was it so important for you to invite the fan base to take part in that that was kind of a collaborative effort between us and our management indigoot of this idea of like what if there was like this app called smile world and people just uploaded the things that made them happy you know like the world's first positive only social media and that's kind of what we did the video off of you know so it uh it, it's always cool to us to be able to include the people that that give us the opportunity to do what we do into what we do so it, it was a no-brainer for us something else i wanted to point out is the album artwork is gorgeous thank you it's beautiful who worked on that so that's a guy named sam mayo out of the uk um he had done some posters and stuff for us before he's done work okay. for disney with the star wars stuff a, a lot of incredible artwork and it just so happens he's a fan of the band and we're huge fans of his artwork so we decided to get together and you know we said hey man this is the title of the record what about you know he goes what if i give you guys three or four sketches you know the first things that come to mind and then if there's something you like we can build upon that and he damn near nailed it with one of the sketches being the the album cover that we have now, and it, um, you know, it, it he just absolutely nailed it. The thing that I recognized in it is the butterflies are kind of like screaming the life, right? You know, into the atmosphere while the dead trees are all falling away off the back and letting go, and it, it just kind of really summed up the record for me. That's awesome. One other thing that you've done this year that I think is really cool is I think you got a new signature guitar. Yeah, is it's, that right? Uh, yeah, we're working on it right now, man. It's uh, it's all. I have approved the majority of everything, um, <laughs> but yeah, man. So I bought a couple Chapman guitars a couple years back, just at a local music shop at home, and kind of fell in love with them. And I received a message from Rob uh, Chapman 
uh, reaching out, want to know if I'd ever be interested in working with them, and, and it, we just kind of developed the relationship from there. And lo and behold, we've got a signature guitar of mine. I'm playing it today. Okay. But it's beautiful, man. It's it's like a, a T shape. It's white, semi hollow, dual humbuckers, double bound. It's it's super awesome. How many samples do you have to go through before you finally get to the one? Uh, this was the one I'm playing right now was the first one they ever sent me. Okay. And they sent me two, so I could A B two things. And the second one had a couple appointments that I really liked, and we kind of put those things together, and now they're making them for me. So That's awesome. One other thing I want to touch on real quick mm -hmm. is you guys, two are coming up with um, Giovanni and the Hired Guns. Mm -hmm. Those guys are so rad, like a Southern Hispanic rock yeah. deal. I don't think I've been to a show or a rock show anyway where somebody pulled out some horns. Right. So I think that's a badass tour lineup. Oh, yeah. How did you guys connect and get that all worked out? That was all through the booking agency. I honestly, admittedly, I, I wasn't very familiar with them um, okay. until the tour was brought up. I, but dude, I kind of live under a rock when I'm home. I, <laughs> I, I, I sit around and play MLB the show until my wife or a little boy need me, and then I'm doing whatever they need, and then I'm back to playing video games. Yep. Or, or my Pokemon cards or baseball cards, whatever. I just. I, admittedly, I'm not like, I don't watch a lot of TV, listen to a lot of radio, unless I'm driving. Yeah, that's badass, dude. Well, hey, we can't wait for the new record, yes, Screaming yes, in the sir. Sky, due out on September 29th. Yeah, man. And uh, you're playing in Kansas tomorrow yes, at yes. a biker rally. We gave away tickets to that. That's awesome. That'll be a fun show, dude, too, dude. That bike rallies are always, you never know what you're going to get. I mean, Rocklahoma is kind of the same, though. Right, you know? yeah. It's almost crowd, like yeah. everybody's a biker at Rocklahoma. It's kind of cool. I heard somebody call it Toklahoma earlier. And I was like, <laughs> well, it smells that way out here today. So, yes, sir. We'll well, see. Hey, brother, thanks for stopping by. Yes, sir. Appreciate you. Thanks, sir.